Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do reaction, and we're diving back into Why Are You? We're jumping into episode 9. I just finished episode 8, and it was so freaking good. It made my heart feel so full. We got our fire. We finally got our first Sci-Fi and Zone kiss, and... Uh, so freaking sweet so freaking sweet and i just it was just such a feel-good episode all around and i'm just excited to see where things go so we're just going to dive into episode nine and do exactly that what what a they did the do such just another good episode so yes this was a, a very well not very it was a p fight tutor centric episode we had nobody else well nobody else involved we had one mention a day when he called on the phone towards the beginning of the episode but outside of that we had nobody else so i miss you know zone and sci-fi I did, I did. I, I, Y'all know, especially after the last episode where they finally had their first kiss. I'm dying to see where things go with them there. But still, I, this was a very necessary episode for p Fight and Tudor's relationship. Like, this was... There's so much that happened in this episode, and it... I mean, it would have gone over fine if it was done in the normal format that they had where they're bouncing back and forth between them and Zone and Saifa, but... Like, I feel like just having it focus primarily on them, it, it, it did them a service. Um, yeah, super duper sweet. Just lots of just sweet, cute moments. Some of them were a little sugary, sweet, and a little, you know, they, they became a little much at times. Um, you know, some of the excessive, just, mm, oh, mm, let's clingy. Mm, yes, it's cute, whatever, and I get it. I, it's been like decades at this point it feels like but yes I, I remember what it feels like to be in that, those beginning stages of a new relationship where all you want to do is spend every waking moment with that person and you just want to just everything about that person is perfect to you and you just love everything about them and just yes so I get it I get it I get all of the, the wanting to be around and the clingy and holding on and like I get it I get it I get it I get it it's cute it's cute it's adorable um, but, you know, we, we still had some good, real conversation. It wasn't all just fluff. It, it wasn't just fluff for the entire, you know, hour-long episode or 40, 50-minute episode. Like, there was some substance. There was conversation being had, especially when they, when they were on the beach that night. And, you know, um, Tudor was just talking about how... You know how the beach made him happy why it makes him happy how it relates to his family and happier times and you know how zones mentioned that he in that zone and tutor fell into a novel and you know if this was a novel he he, he he likes living in this novel and just cute things and you know just confessing feelings confessing feelings slowly but surely um and yeah then we just had beach fun we had fun on the beach we we went strolling we went um we went sightseeing, we had romantic dinners, we slept, we had this beautiful house with this beautiful pool, which neither of them got in yet. I don't understand, but who knows, there's there's still time. Um, and then, you know, P-Fight said he wanted to get wet, and I was like, praise Jesus, thank God, because y'all been on a beach for like 30 minutes at this point, and ain't none of y'all been shirtless yet, and it's, that's a crime, it's a travesty, and I need you to rectify it, so he rectified it, and praise Jesus, Lord, that man got an amazing body, amazing prayer, oh, Lord, um, and then yeah, just more cute moments between the two of them, he, Tudor cut his foot on some, on a shell or something, I don't know, you know, and just, just cute moments, cute, it was an episode full of just cute moments and just cute interactions within the relationship, and then they took their relationship to the next level. I'm not gonna say that I'm surprised it happened here, because, I mean, I'm not gonna say I expected it to happen here on their little vacation, but at the same time, like, it seemed like the perfect setting for us. Like, if something 
were gonna happen for the first time in their relationship, this seemed like the perfect setup for it to happen. Romantic, just beach scenery, nature everywhere, um, moonlight, beach dinners and walks and all this kind of stuff, just all this romantic stuff all around, the romantic scenery, we got the place all to ourselves, it's a new relationship, we're confessing feelings and all that kind of stuff, like it just seemed like the environment for a first time of something to happen. So not that I was expecting it to happen, but I wasn't surprised that it did happen. I was surprised with how lengthy it was and how much they were showing me, um, but I'm not upset with what they were showing me. And actually, I honestly think it might be I'll go out on a limb and say that it might be my favorite, like, sex lovemaking scene that I've seen in any of the series I've reacted to thus far. Not that there's been an abundance. Um, why Love Why, obviously. Um, they did some sexy time in Long Time No See. Um, there was some sexy time in You Make Me Dance. And there might have been like one or two other series I've reacted to thus far that had some like legit sexy time. Like, mm -hmm. um, but this one might be my favorite that I've seen thus far just because the way it was all shot, like it wasn't all just about the sex, but it wasn't all, it wasn't like some of the other ones where like, okay, kissing, here's a nip flash, and then we're just gonna fade to black and then it's the next morning. Um, so it's just implied sexy time. Like here, like, no, we know what, we know what was going down. We, we clearly saw what was going down, but it wasn't about just the sex happening. They shot it in a way where it still felt romantic. It still felt worthy of like that first time feeling, although the first time it, if your first time is this big romantic special moment, then you are a fortunate person. Um, from what I'm told, obviously, I'm still a virgin. I have not had a first time yet, but from what, I, from what I'm told, um, the first time, most times, ain't, ain't anything to go writing home about. Uh, but if you have a first time that's magical and special like that, you know, God bless you. But yes, this is one of those like idealized fantasy movie moments. Like this could have been in a movie. This it, it could it was a scene out of a movie. It wasn't just about the sex. It was about the romance, the intimacy, and you know, consent. Lots of consent. Praise Jesus, y'all know I keep preaching about consent on this channel every single time that something happens and somebody's about to go kiss up on somebody. I'm like consent, consent, consent. Back the fuck up without the consent. So yes, you know. I'm, I'm kissing your leg and okay we're doing this stuff okay mm -hmm. are you ready okay are you sure you're ready for this yes okay let's do this mm -hmm -hmm. how you doing praise Jesus mm -hmm -hmm. but yeah it was beautiful beautifully shot beautiful and yeah then they ended the episode in that you know giant foamy teacup and you know just more romantic stuff and they love each other which I already knew you already knew we already knew but you know just sweet sweetness 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 and it's just nice to see where the relationship has come, how far it's come since the beginning of the series. And, well, we've only got four episodes left, so we'll have to see where it goes, where things go. Um, are we going to get a sci-fi zone-centric episode next? Um, or at all? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it would, it's only fair to balance out all the, you know, tutor and tutor and fight action that we're getting here. Not saying that Zone and Zephyr need to get down and do the do. I mean, that's fine if they do, but I don't think that's where the relationship is right now. But still, I'd, I'd like to see where the relationship is headed. But like I said, we've got like four episodes left. I don't know if we're going to introduce any more drama that's going to then need to be resolved in the final episode, or if it's just going to be sugary sweet fluffy goodness for the rest of it. I don't know. You gotta wait and see. By the way, another great episode. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.